Watch where the fuck you're going, asshole. A man dressed in a parka and gloves, pushing a cart plum full, elbowed Dwight as he walked by. Dwight, taken aback by the man's manners, stared at him in awe. Excuse me, sir. Do you not see that there is a lady present? Why the fuck would I care if there's a woman present? Makes no difference to me. Just watch where you fuck you're going, asshole. The man was crude and ruthless, and Dwight didn't know if he should come in again, or beat the guy's ass, or simply walk away. Come on, Jenny. Let's move on. Dwight's better sense told him to walk away. Jenny's gut told her to comply. As they attempted to walk on, the other man kept running his mouth relentlessly. Dwight looked at Jenny several times before he turned around, aiming his sights on the crude man again. No, Dwight, let's just leave. We can go somewhere else. Jenny knew, as well as she knew she was with Baby, that Dwight had had all he could stand. Dwight turned and let go of her hand as he grabbed a can of sweet potatoes from the shelf and walked toward the man who was running his big mouth. And what do you think you're gonna do, pussy whip faggot? The vulgar man was laughing at Dwight and looking at the can of sweet potatoes. Dwight lifted the can of sweet potatoes and anger overwhelmed him as he remembered the man's crude words about his pregnant wife, and he crashed down as hard as he could on top of the man's skull. There was a loud crack. Dwight's eyes became wide with fear. What in God's name had he done? The man stood for quite a few seconds looking at Dwight with a blank stare. Dwight watched in horror while blood trickled down the man's forehead slowly at first, and then faster until it covered his eyes. The man dropped to his knees while still holding the cart handle. Dwight looked at Jenny whose mouth was wide open, even though she was silent, and her eyes were full of fear. And he then looked around the store, all the while knowing full well that someone would be calling the police. But no one paid attention. No one looked at them. And no one looked at the man holding the cart handle with blood covering his face as he was down on his knees. People just rushed past the man on his knees, as if he wasn't even there.